When I tell people I like watches, the conversation mostly will end on them asking me, what is better, a battery powered watch or a mechanical one? Now, the term better can be a double edged sword because it depends on the context of your personal preferences. But if you had to choose one, which one is better for you? Quartz watches represent probably one of the biggest innovations in the history of timekeeping. The development of the quartz watch was part of the broader quartz revolution, which began in the 1960s and had a profound effect in the watchmaking industry. Now, the term profound effect may come as an understatement, given that probably more than 50% of Swiss watch brands filed for bankruptcy thanks to Seiko. This period in time was called the Quartz Crisis or the Quartz Revolution. It depends on where you're at. If you're in Switzerland, it's the Quartz Crisis. If you're in Japan, it's called the Quartz Revolution. It refers to the period where the Quartz watch was invented. And after that, everything changed for the watchmaking industry. Prior to the Quartz Crisis, Swiss mechanical watches dominated the market. Known for their craftsmanship, precision, and luxury, the Swiss watchmaking industry was based in tradition with skills and techniques passed down through generations. These mechanical watches required intricate assembly of numerous tiny parts and regular maintenance, which made them relatively expensive. The introduction of quartz watches disrupted the status quo. Quartz timepieces used a battery as a power source and the quartz crystal to regulate the time, which resulted in stunningly accurate watches requiring much less labor to produce than traditional mechanical watches. Quartz watches were far more precise than mechanical watches, with only a few seconds of deviation per month compared to the daily deviations of mechanical watches. Also, they were cheaper to produce due to fewer moving parts and could be sold at lower prices. With fewer mechanical components, quartz watches required less maintenance and were not as prone to wear and service issues. The Swiss watch industry was initially resistant to adopting quartz technology, partly out of a sense of tradition and pride in their mechanical watchmaking expertise. However, as companies in Japan and the United States such as Seiko, Citizen and Casio embraced quartz manufacturing, they began to outcompete the Swiss on both price and accuracy. This led to a significant decline in the Swiss watch industry, with many traditional watchmakers facing bankruptcy and significant financial declines. The crisis saw a drastic reduction in Swiss watch exports and a steep dip in employment in the industry. The Swiss eventually managed to turn the crisis into an opportunity for reinvention. Two key strategies helped revitalize the Swiss watch industry. First. Swiss companies began to concentrate on the high end of the market, producing luxury mechanical watches as status symbols. Brands like Rolex, Patek Philippe and Audemars Piguet emphasized the craftsmanship, heritage and artistry of their mechanical watches, capitalizing on the notion of luxury. And number two, the creation of the Swatch brand. The creation of this brand in the 1980s marked a turning point. Swatch introduced a stylish, colorful, and inexpensive quartz watches that became a fashion statement. This strategic move allowed Swiss companies to recover significant market share in the lower and mid-tier segments. The quartz crisis is a classic example of technological disruption and how an industry's response is critical for survival. It also led to a clearer segmentation in the watch industry, where consumers today can choose from affordable and accurate quartz watches or invest in luxury mechanical timepieces, each segment satisfying distinct market demands. Quartz is a piezoelectric material, which means it vibrates at a precise frequency when electricity is applied to it. This property is what makes it extremely useful for keeping time. The first commercially available quartz wristwatch was the Seiko Astron, introduced in Japan on December 25 of 1969. 
it had an astonishing accuracy of plus minus 5 seconds a day, significantly more precise than mechanical watches of that era, which had an average daily variation of a few seconds. Today, quartz watches are enjoyed for their accuracy, affordability and low maintenance. They continue to dominate the market in terms of volume, even as luxury mechanical watches enjoy a strong following as well. But now, let's focus on the quartz watches. The key advantages of quartz technology are superior accuracy. Quartz watches are far more precise than mechanical watches, with only a few seconds of deviation per month compared to the daily deviations of mechanical watches. Number two, affordability. Quartz watches are cheaper to produce due to fewer moving parts and could be sold at lower prices. Number three, less maintenance. With fewer mechanical components, quartz watches require less maintenance and are not as prone to wear and service issues. Number four, convenience. They are ready to wear at any time without the need to wind or set, provided the battery is working. Okay, so we have established now that quartz watches are better, right? I mean, they're more accurate, cheaper, more robust. They must be better, right? Right? Now let's focus on mechanical watches. Since the beginning of time, humans have been in love with it, with time. From the beginning of history, various cultures used sundials, water clocks, candle clocks to measure time. And people love mechanical watches for several reasons. Mechanical watches are marvels of engineering and craftsmanship. Each watch contains a multitude of tiny components assembled with great precision. The expertise and time required to create such intricate movements are admired. Mechanical watches often feature refined looks. Watchmakers design them with attention to detail, and they may include elaborate dials, cases, and hands. Many wearers appreciate the artistry involved. Now, the physical interaction with a mechanical watch, like winding the crown or hearing the taking of the movement, create a tactile connection between the watch and its owner. Mechanical watches carry a sense of tradition and legacy. They can represent the history of a brand, a family heirloom, or an era of craftsmanship from bygone times. Their complexity, craftsmanship, and limited production often make mechanical watches highly desirable to collectors. Some look for rare vintage models, investing not just in time-telling instruments, but in pieces with potential to appreciate in value. High-end mechanical watches symbolize luxury and status due to their quality materials, craftsmanship, and often high price tag. In a digital age, there is something grounding about the analog precision of a mechanical watch. It's a counterpoint to the omnipresence of electronic devices. A mechanical watch choice can say a lot about the wearer's personal style and values. It can be a statement piece, an expression of their taste for the finer things, or a nod to a timeless product. The movement of a mechanical watch with its sweeping second hand can serve as a poetic reminder of the continuous passage of time, analog rather than digital. In summary, choose a quartz watch if you prioritize accuracy, convenience and lower maintenance. But opt for a mechanical watch if you value craftsmanship, the pleasure of interaction with the watch and the potential for the watch to hold or increase its value. But tell me, which one would you choose?